Hello, internet people. My name is Robert, and I'll show you how to add Google reviews to a WordPress website. You'll be able to choose from multiple different designs and layouts, and it's totally free. Tips with punch. So let's get started by going to the WordPress dashboard. So I'm here in my WordPress dashboard, and let's install the plugin by going to plugins and add new. And in the search box, let's find Google reviews. And we want the widget from trusted index IO. So let's install it. And don't forget to activate it. Okay. The plugin is installed. So let's scroll down here in the menu and you have this trusted index IO. Let's click on it. Here's the configurator. Let's connect. And then just start typing the business name you're looking for. So in this case, I'm looking for this one. Let's say this is my business. It's a bar somewhere in Amsterdam. So I'm going to grab it, go here, go back to the pop-up and just search for it. You can see it finds it immediately and select it. All right, they found it. Yes, it's the correct place. Let's connect. Now, if you go back to your, uh, your website, to your WordPress, you can see it's now connected to it and you can select what kind of a layout you like. So let's say there's a quite a, a lot of different options. You have the sliders here, so there's more than one type of slider. You see, all of these are different types of sliders. And then you have option for sidebar. So something like this, where you can uh, scroll through each of them. And then you have the list. So this is uh, good if you have a about page or you can just create a, a, some sort of reviews page. You have the grid, a badge, if you want to add it somewhere in your nav bar or in your footer. Then you have also a button like this one. You have something, a floating thingy like this and also a pop-up. But let's say for this one, I'm going to use a slider like this one. I'm going to click on select. Now I'm going to select the style. So there's a few different options. You see, I like this light border one. So I'm going to select it. Now we're going to set up the widget. So there's a few settings here. You can filter the ratings. So you can see it only filter by a uh, five star or four to five stars. Now, for transparency, I would keep them because it's not really, it's not like they can't see them. If they click on the reviews, they can go to Google and see them. Then you can also select the language, the date format, and how you align the text here. And there's also additional settings here. Just check them out if they apply to you. Now, one thing I want to point out here, this is cool. Use your site's font if you want to. So then it looks a bit more like it's from your website up to you. I kind of like to use uh, Google so that it looks like it's by Google and it's not something I'm saying. It's really real users that are saying this. So let's save and get the code. And now here I can uh, copy this to clipboard. So this is a short code. As you might know, the page builders like Elementor or Gutenberg, they all of them have blocks where you can place short codes. So in this case, I'm going to go to my about page. So this is my about page and here I can search for short code. You see, it's just there and now I can scroll. And if I want to, let's delete this one. If I want to show this, for example, at the bottom of this page, I can just drag it there. And then if I paste the short code that we copied earlier, you can see it already appears here. Now the formatting is a bit off. Let's take a look if it works. Let's update this and go and preview the page once it's loaded like this and now you can see that it's all nice here in line and you can scroll through these now and also don't forget to clear the cache if you have a caching plugin just to clear the cache otherwise you might not see these updates and it looks really professional and if you have a lot of reviews especially if they're good this is a really great way of having that social proof on your website and that your new customers feel more trust. The first impression is so important online. That's why you need to use high quality images and videos on your website.
I'll show you my favorite free sources in this video right here.